And those things all happen. The problem is if we enter in to compromise and we start to say, well, I, I really think abortion is killing a child, but this, but that, but that, what you've done is you've compromised the most important truth, the only thing we have to stand on. If it is a human life, then it is wrong to kill it regardless of the circumstances. And when you start playing the circumstance game, you're playing into their argument. Because now they're saying, well, well, what if she, the woman was abused? What if she fears for her life? What if her boyfriend might kill her? What if she can't support the child? What if the child's going to be abused? All of those arguments we've heard since the very beginning. The reality is this, this is a human being created by God regardless of the circumstances in which that happened and every single child deserves the right to life and there are no exceptions. The minute you make the exception, you've negated the entire argument. Um, compromise hasn't worked. At the end of the day, the compromise hasn't worked. And, and as a community, we have to speak up and say, the reason that I believe abortion is wrong is because this is a living human being whose life you are taking, who, uh, who is an innocent child in the process. And the minute you stray away from that, then you leave yourself open for every single exception that, that people can come up with, and they can come up with a lot of them. And I've heard all kinds of things like that, that were demon spawn, the rapist baby, monster's child, horrible reminder of the rape. And that's not true. That's not what rape victims actually express. Instead, what they express is that that child is a blessing, that that child helped them to overcome the rape, that they felt like they were no longer in it alone, where they had vowed never to tell a soul about their rape because of that child, they now had to tell people and had to get the counseling and had the healing that they never would have otherwise received if it had not been for that child. And some have expressed that they felt like they had a little angel to keep them company during their time of healing. And my birth mother says that I'm a blessing to her. I honor her and I bring her healing. And that's the other fallacy that people have. They think that that baby has got to be absolutely the worst thing that's ever happened to a rape victim, and that's not true. An abortion is. But people just assume that she would be better off with an abortion, and that could not be further from the truth. I'm a family physician and pediatrician. I've been practicing medicine for about 12 years. I tell my patients do not get an amniocentesis. An amniocentesis